Hello everybody, my name is Philippe. I'm a huge fan of Barbra Streisand and I have made a series of 12 videos in which I discuss 12 very important Barbra Streisand albums, 12 albums that I wanted to share with you and that I wanted to make certain people discover and others rediscover like so many of you um, have told me and sent me messages. And today, a uh, very, very personal uh, tribute because this album, Barbra Streisand's Greatest Hits, is the album that made me discover Barbra Streisand's voice for the very first time. And, uh, and it was the very first time I heard a Streisand album and probably an entire album. Um, I was nine years old and my father bought this album through Columbia Records and Tapes. It was an ad uh, that many of you, anybody who's my age or a little bit older knows about this, 12 albums for one cent. And my father chose all of his favorite bands and uh, rock groups and, um, and singers like Neil Diamond and Simon, and Garfunkel and uh, uh, King Crimson and Santana. And the last album he checked out was Barbra Streisand's Greatest Hits. And he said, oh, we really got to have a Streisand album. I don't own a Streisand album. And her voice is so incredible. And so the album arrived and it stayed sealed in my house for an entire year until I was allowed to use the stereo. And that's the album that I chose. And when I played the very first track, which is People, um, from the taken from the album People, her fourth album, and it's a beautiful orchestration by Peter Matz. And when I heard that horn, those violins, and then all of a sudden that magical voice that just says People, I was just taken aback because I'd never heard anybody sing that way. And I think I wasn't sure if there was going to be any singing on the album. I thought maybe it's just music that accompanies her in her movies. I just I just didn't know. And the back cover of the album had all of her albums um, up to that date, all, all the way from the first Barbra Streisand album to What About Today. And so it was incredible to see all these albums. And I remember thinking, one day I'll own every single one of those. And, uh, and I did own them in cassette, in CD, and now dematerialized. So this is a, a love affair that's been going on for 50 years. And um, definitely, I've never been uh, disappointed. And um, this album, although it's a best of, it, it is really, really very special. Now, all the songs are between 1963 and 1968. Um, this album came out in the 19, in 1970, and it came out between the, um, the soundtrack of On A Clear Day You Can See Forever and the soundtrack of Hello Dolly, both of which were not very popular uh, albums, and they were both not Columbia distribution and they were poorly distributed because when I was a young man in in the mid 70s buying Streisand albums those two you could never find along with Simply Streisand, Color Me Barbara um, they were just impossible to find uh, and Je m'appelle Barbara also these albums which are not which were not big big sellers uh, this album sold extremely well it was two million pre-sales and uh, it's done much more since so it, it was a, a very big uh, hit album for um miss streisand uh, the second song is secondhand rose and that's from um my name is barbara too and uh if you know that song it's it's a it's a song that it was quite a big hit uh, for Barbara Streisand and um, the orchestration again very ragtime with that piano that has a lot of echo and Barbara Streisand displays all her acting abilities in that song um, and you really feel for this poor young woman whose everything that she owns is secondhand so it's really a cute song and it really today is just lovely to listen to. The third song is Why Did I Choose You from the album My Name is Barbara and Why Did I Choose You. Again, her choice of songs, it's not just a love song, it's, it's questioning or explaining, explaining to somebody why that person, why, um, why not somebody else and it's really uh, delivered so beautifully. It's a magnificent love song. Um, then He Touched Me, um, 
just incredible. It's the first song on My Name is Barbara 2 um, again, and uh, it's one of those songs that climbs. You know, it begins, it's, it's a cold beginning. It's just her voice barely singing, saying, he touched me. And then the piano that follows, and then it climbs and climbs with this incredible orchestration and that voice that just goes up and up and up. And when Barbara Streisand did her first of the big, big concerts when she returned to the stage, and it's called uh, Barbara Streisand, the concert, uh, she sings He Touched Me, exactly the same orchestration, and her voice is the same. I mean, from when she was 20 years old to this, where she was in her early 50s, and it's just perfection. She can do it live, and it's the same voice. And um, uh, something really cute about the album My Name is Barbara 2, the album cover, which is a favorite among her fans. It's such a beautiful album cover. The top hat that she is wearing with the veil is designed by Halston, and it's one of his first designs um, because he was a hat maker before uh, he was the designer that we all know the designer who made all those beaded clothes for um, Eliza Minnelli and Liz Taylor and all. And I own uh, a pair of uh, trousers um, uh, that are Halston. They have no label inside, but they're all beaded. And they belong to Regine, who is a, a French uh, singer and actress and who owned all of the uh, famous discotheques, the Regine's Club. And she made a sale um, a couple of years ago of all of her belongings. And uh, I bought those those pants. And when she did the sale, they said, from the same designer as Liza Minnelli, because uh, Hostin is not well known in France. So I thought it was a cute little story. Uh, uh, after He Touched Me, she sings Free Again. And Free Again is from the album Je M'appelle Barbara, which I wanted to discuss and maybe I will um, another time. I mean, I've done 12 albums, but maybe I'll do some more um, because it's a French album and I'm French, as some of you may know. Now, Free Again in the album Je M'appelle Barbara, just like on the Greatest Hits album, is in English, Free Again. And in French, it is called Non C'est Rien, which means no, it's, it's nothing. It's a different way of saying that she's not unhappy, you know, just like she says she's free again while she's very miserable. And um, the song can be heard on the album Color Me Barbara in French, where she sings and poses as a Modigliani painting, and she's just absolutely magnificent. And both versions are gorgeous. Um, and then the side A ends with the song Don't Rain On My Parade, which is the version from the soundtrack of Funny Girl. And uh, to me, the ultimate version. I mean, any song that Barbara Streisand sings to me is the ultimate version. You can only copy her interpretation. You can only sing the way she sings it because she has a way of putting her vocal on, on something and it's just perfection and you can't get it out of your head. Um, then we go to side B. Now I remember it even though uh, it, they've been long uh, in, in CD format where you don't have the side B, but because I listened to that album so much and so much and so much for I think a year and a half until I bought my second Barbara Streisand album, uh, which was a Star is Born soundtrack because I adored Evergreen and I could hear it on the radio. And uh, I didn't listen to Side B for an entire month as a child. I only listened to Side A because I thought it was so amazing and I was afraid that I wouldn't like the other side. So I listened to Side B uh, a month later and it was a big deal. I told everybody in, in my house, I'm flipping the album and I adored uh, what was on the second side. My coloring book, which comes from, again, the second Barbara Streisand album. So it's, uh, uh, the, it's one of the oldest uh, recordings on this album. And uh, uh, again, the choice of songs, the way to describe this, you know, almost like a nursery rhyme, a coloring book, and she's describing the loss of love and the way to color her, to color Barbara. And it's just absolutely magnificent. And the last note 
in my coloring book is a very, very, very long note. She says the word gone, but it lasts forever. And it was the first time I heard anybody do that. And I thought, wow, that is so incredible. And then Sam, you made the pants too long, which is very vaudeville And it's a, really a, 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 a Jewish song. It's very Yiddishy y um, because, you know, the relationship that we have with the tailor and the way we have our clothes done and the way, you know, the not to spend too much money on the fabric and all. So it's very old time, um, a kind of a, a Yiddish song. I don't know wh what the origins of that song is. And what's really cute is that um, it is very reminiscent of the song Tomorrow Night in Yentl, where she's being tailored for a suit for her wedding night and uh, nothing works because uh, of course she's a woman and the tailor doesn't understand why nothing fits her. Um, and so it's, again, it's very interesting that some of the great, great artists of our time, whether they be writers or cinematographers or um, uh, uh, singers or composers, they always redo the same thing. You know, they just perfect it. And very often um, you find in Barbra Streisand's discography um, that her songs and her albums are just a, a, a renewed version, something different. Um, I had the great, great chance of meeting a great author um, called Marguerite Duras, who's a French author, uh, in her the late, the last days of her, uh, last years of her life, and she told me that um, she always wrote the same book and she always wrote the same story. She just wrote it differently, and so. Um, Sometimes when I hear Barbara and when I listen to some of her songs, I think that, you know, she's repeating in a different way. She's re recreating her masterpiece. Um, after that, uh, it's the song My Man, and it is the version, also the long version from uh, the album My Name is Barbara. Another album I didn't cover and a fantastic album, great television special um, and so this is the longest version and again uh, they did not choose the one from the movie Funny Girl which is a tiny version uh, this one has the verse and it, she just sings it magnificently um, and then Gotta Move also from the second album so another one of the earliest songs and uh, this version of Gotta Move is you know very minimal orchestra it's percussions and it's just sung in such a raw and riveting way. It's just electrifying. And there is another version of Gotta Move, which I adore, and it's on the album Color Me Barbara. And this version is with a, a big orchestra. So it's great to listen to the two versions and Color Me Barbara is also one of my favorite albums, um, but I didn't cover it because sometimes I don't really know what to say, It's uh, apart from, it's amazing. So um, the last song from this uh, collection is Happy Days Are Here Again, and it is the live version from the incredible concert, Barbara Streisand Live in Central Park. This unbelievable uh, event um, uh, that, uh, called Happening in Central Park that, was, uh, that happened on June 17, 1967, my birthday so again this is you know sometimes in life you say there's a sign you know this was meant for me i had to uh you know know and discover and love and admire barbara streisand in my life you know there's just there are signs and uh, she really um is the most in extraordinary artist i have a lot of idols but um, Barbara Streisand uh, holds a very, very, very special place in my heart. And she's allowed me again to meet so many of you uh, through this um, YouTube channel. And I would like to thank you for uh, being a part of this. And I hope to see you again very soon for some more albums. Thank you and bye bye.